Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day today, Saturday. Um, we're gonna go into the miners versus Bitcoin for the week, see how everybody did. As always, not financial advice, do your own research, don't fall for scams, post, uh, spam posts get deleted, so on, so on, so on. Let's get into the charts here really quick. Okay, so Bitcoin is obviously down in the last couple of days. It's down to 64,109 right now. Topped out the week at 69,047. So it was a, that was an all new all time high, which was great to see. Obviously we're kind of bouncing between uh, the 20 day moving average and we're hoping to bounce off of it again. Bitfarms, Bitfarms is up to 858. So Bitfarms has had a nice rally here in the last two days. And obviously I believe, uh, let me see if there's any news here. Uh, Bitfarms just acquired uh, Hydropower. We talked about that in a video. Uh, what else do we have here? I think that was it for Bitfarms. Um, something analysts as far as are covering it, I think it's still the same. Nothing has changed from last week. Um, we have some info on institutions. So a couple institutions added to their shares, 13% add and 8% add here for Mira. Goldman Sachs asset management increased it by 0.64%. And that was as of 10.31, so about, what is that, two weeks ago roughly that this was reported. So it looks like these get reported at the end of each month, so we'll update them as they happen. Um, other thing here, corp, corporate actions, no insider activity has been reported here. Let's take a look at Hive here really quick. So Hive is, uh, we're looking at the weekly, let's take a look at the daily here. So on Hive, we reached a high of 560. This was back on, I believe... Let's see, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. On Tuesday, we reached a high of $5.60. And then they obviously had the uh, halt on trading. Uh, I think this was on Wednesday when they had the halt on trading. I can't remember. Uh, things are just getting too busy. But they had a halt on trading. They put out a press release that they're getting $100 million in, uh, in equity. Not in equity, but they're getting $100 million from uh, shares, basically devaluing their shares by having more shares out. So we did a video on that as well. But it's at $4.32 right now to close out the week. Uh, we do have some corporate actions here for insider activities. So Marcus, director of issuer, sold 43,000 shares, it looks like, at 348. Um, Dave uh, Pearl, I don't know what that is. New, I don't know what Pearl. Maybe this is Dave Perrell. Sold 187,000 at 381021. Uh, Darcy sold 4,000, looks like 4.1,000 at 395. Darcy also sold here at 4,100. These could be also the uh, stock options that they have to sell, regardless. It doesn't say whether or not they were selling any of their own shares. Holmes uh, sold 62,000, doesn't say disclosed. Uh, Darcy again sold 4,100, so this could be just their stock options. Another one here, 2121, and then Tobias actually bought, looks like 62,000, or he got 62,000 in shares. Same with Frank Holmes here, uh, Marcus as well. And these are all within the last uh, month here, as of October. Uh, Institution-wise, institutions have uh, exchange-traded concept increased it by 13%, and Mira Asset increased it by 8.3%. Take a look at HUT here really quick. So HUT reached a high this week at 1657. It is now at 1528. HUT also, I believe, uh, yep, HUT provided their Q3 reports uh, for the week here a couple days ago. Did a video on that. Uh, let me see here, institutions. Institutions are buying up here, 48% for McKenzie Financials. Um, Harvest portfolio sold a little bit. Uh, exchange traded concepts bought 13% more. And uh, Mira Asset Global added into their position of 7% add on. And BlackRock Institution added 0.635 in uh, October, it looks like. Let's take a look at their corporate actions here, really quick. Who's, uh, so Bitfurry Holdings has been selling their shares, it looks like, at 1066, 184,000. Uh, Jeremy. Director Swell, looks like about 184,000. Well, this is the same thing. I don't know how this works out. But this was on uh, 9.9, so there's nothing really new here on it. Then we're going back down to 831, which was Bitfurry. Uh, and Bitfurry here is some more selling, looks like. So nothing new on HUT. Take a look at Mara. 
Maram reached a high this week at 83.45. It is now at 75.92. It is, let me see if we got anything new here. So nothing new here as far as selling. It looks like some buying here. Um, almost 2,000 shares at 33. Uh, Frederick, 10,000 at 33.63. 10.5, we have quite a few at 10.5. People were buying in at that point. And well, we see a lot of buying in here. So they obviously see a lot of good things happening because you got a lot of buying. Okay, but nothing recent as of within the last, last couple of weeks. Uh, let's take a look at uh, institutions and institutions for them. Let's see, 1031 reported, we got a couple of 1031 reported. We had one that decreased their position, Harvest Portfolio, and then we have SRN Advisors increased it, and JP Morgan Investment increased it as well. Let's take a look at Riot. Riot finished out the week on a strong, uh, strong run here. It is up 40, well, the high was 44.29. It is finished out the week at 44.19. Uh, as far as for them, it looks like 1031, we only had one reporting. The Harvest portfolio has decreased their position by 2.59% on the week. Let's take a look and see if we have any corporate actions here. 1013 was the latest one that's being reported. Uh, Joseph looks like he either got shares and probably got shares, 34,997, 34,097. Um, sold some at 25, and then we're going into the other months here. So not much going on there. Let's take a look at Argo. Argo finished out the week at 188. Doesn't report the high, but the high looks like it was around $2.01. And we don't have anything for them as far as corporate actions. The latest one we have is from 225, so people aren't selling or buying more into it. Insiders at least. Institutions. 1031, okay, so we got a couple of 1031s here. Somebody, uh, Mirror Asset Global, put in a huge stake here, 22% added on to their position. Uh, we have also exchange traded concepts adding 13%, and BlackRock Institution decreased it by 0.025% since last month. Let's take a look at DigiHost. DigiHost finished out the week at 7.53. It reached a high of $8 on Tuesday. And then we have only one in the last month, they decreased their position of 2.59%. That was Harvest Portfolios. Corporate actions, 10, 20, 8, 21. Okay, so these are pretty recent here. Uh, looks like he, I'm guessing these without the price are the share options. Wow, so many 1.4 million shares. Uh, 1028, 10, wow, got a lot of 1028s here. Uh, looks like the those are the shares and then the following ones are 727 going back to last year wow okay so quite a bit of activity here in the last couple of weeks for them with a lot of shares being somebody can explain this to me if it doesn't show the price here is that just their uh, stock options expiring then they have to sell it or if it means something else um, but yeah they're at 753 right now let's take a look at institutions on them institutions um uh, just a decrease on that one. And then take a look at CleanSpark here. CleanSpark was up, well, this was last week at 23.60 was the high that we're looking at here. They finished out the week at 21.42. No institution change uh, since, looks like, uh, September. Let's take a look at corporate actions. 10.18 was the latest one reported. Somebody bought in, uh, Officer Amer bought 1,000 shares at 4.65 on 10.18. 460. Oh, okay, so we got in at a good time. He's up, uh, well, quite a bit. He's up almost, what is that, 5x, roughly, 4x. And then let's take a look at the latest one we added, uh, Moss, Sun, Moss Sun Infrastructure. So they finished out the week at 1292. They hit a high this week, or last week, at approximately 1562. Don't have any data on corporate actions as far as insider trading. The latest one reported was back in... Oh, this is actually recent, 11.01. Wow. So this is the most recent one. So somebody's been buying 400 or getting stock options. Looks like a lot of people are giving stock options here in the latest report. Uh, Institution-wise, got nothing here since 9.30. Looks like nothing has changed. So that's it. Okay. Let's take a look at the numbers here. So obviously Bitcoin finished out the week pretty well. It wasn't gangbuster, but obviously it hit a high this week. And we are at, here we go, 
So Bitcoin finished out the week at 64,147. This was from yesterday at um, right around, I think, six or seven o'clock my time when it changes over to the next day. So that's what we're using on that. So it's up 3,000 on the week. Bitfarms was at 8.58, so it's up $1.30 on the week. Hive is at 4.32, which is down 10 cents. Hut 8 is at 15.28, so it's up 76 cents. Marathon, 75.92, uh, uh, so it's up $12.10 on the week. Riot is at 44.19, so it's up 12.70. Argo, 193, so it's uh, 28 cents, and this is in US dollars converted over to, uh, from the British pounds or British pences over to the you know, US dollar. Digihost is at 7.53, so it's up 28 cents. Clean Spark is 21.42, so it's up 94. Mawson, 12.92. So it is up 29 cents. So the worst performing obviously was Hive this week, basically because of the news that came out of the the uh, devaluation of the share, not devaluation of the shares, but the shareholder equity being dev uh, not devalued. I'm thinking of the wrong, wrong term here. It's um, well, that is kind of devaluing the sh shares of the company because they're issuing more shares to get more money. Bit Farms and actually uh, Riot did the best for the week. If we look at the four-week performance, we got Bit, uh, Bitcoin up 5.7%, Bitfarms up 63, Hive 21, Hut 8 37, 53 for Marathon, 56 for Riot, Argo is at 16, uh, Digihost is at 45, Clean Spark is at 30, and Mawson is at 37. And then we added also the eight-week, so Bitcoin is up in the eight weeks, 48%, Bitfarms 77, Hive at 51, Hut 8 is at 81, Marathon is 109% up, Riot 58, Argo 9.8, Digihost 60.9, Clean Spark at 87.89, and Mawson is up 35, 37. So if we look at here on the charts, this is the weekly chart from this week. So we can see Hive is obviously the last one, uh, and then followed by Mawson, Digihost, Clean Spark, Bitcoin, Hut 8, Argo, Bitfarms, Marathon, and Riot. Obviously, Riot did the best outperforming. Bitcoin, as Bitcoin was only up 5%, they were up 40%. So congrats to those guys. And then if we look at the four-week gains, Bitcoin is up 5.7% on the four weeks. Best one that performed out of all those was Bitfarms, up 63.43%, followed probably by Riot here, 56%, then Marathon, 53%. And then we're going down to Digihost and Moss and then CleanSpark. And HUD-8, HUD-8 has done well. If we look at the eight-week chart, eight-week gain, so Marathon has outperformed everybody at, at 109% up. Riot is at 58%, Bitfarms is at 77%, HUD-8 is at 81, and CleanSpark is 87. So obviously CleanSpark and Marathon have been doing the best for the past two months. So interesting stuff there. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. That's a lot of information, obviously. This is just a kind of weekly roundup and kind of summing it all up as far as what happened and how they performed in the last four weeks, eight weeks, and things like that. So obviously, Marathon has been doing great to the last four, eight weeks. Clean Spark, same thing. Um, nothing, obviously, the worst one out of the bunch right now, it looks like, is Hive. Um, Hive has done the worst uh, last this week, at least. And then even last week, it was kind of down almost to the end of it here, 2135, and the only one lower than that was Argo. So obviously investors are not happy with the performance of the stock, uh, but we'll have to obviously monitor it, see what happens. But that's it, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of all this. Um, have a great Saturday. Uh, we'll probably post another video on Sunday. We'll see if there's anything interesting going on. Obviously the Bitcoin ETF that was um, yesterday going to be possibly approved by the SEC has was denied. So that is what it is. I kind of expected it. I didn't think that was going to happen anyways. All right, guys, that's it. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then.